basketball fans, after an eternity and then some, yeah, like, being able to to find some common time to do a podcast. <laughs> Kasi si Rolly, sobrang busy nito. Nako! Daming ginagawa. Daming kinikita. All kinikitang s- pera. All work related. Daming minimit na mga kamiting, mga ganyan. <laughs> at tuloy, at tuloy. Ayan. Uh, now we are at the tail end of the NBA playoffs. Yes. We, finally. Uh, after, you know, a lot of weeks, only two teams remain out of 16 that uh, survived the regular season. We're done with the draft lottery. We're done with naming the MVP and you know, all these season awards. Yeah. The only real thing left to fight for is the NBA championship. Mm-hmm. And we have the Cleveland Cavaliers on the red corner and the Golden State Warriors in the blue corner. Tamang tama pareh sa mga uniform nila disputing um, the championship. We have two rookie coaches for us. Yeah. Uh, Steve Kerr, of course, won a lot of titles with Chicago and San Antonio. San Antonio. Mm-hmm. He's a rookie coach, um, second behind Mike Budenholzer for, for Coach of the Year. He's in the finals. David Blatt, who's gone through an up and down season. This guy after, almost didn't uh, make it. Oh, oh my! Uh, was uh, gonna get fired early. Final when the Cavs were uh, really just treading water early in the season. Coach David Blatt, some people felt was on his way out, but now he might be on his way to his first, first. ever NBA wow. title. His first year mm-hmm. in the NBA, Baklase. So. What a turnaround for, for these two clubs. Uh, Golden State, of course, having that uh, that controversy replacing Mark Jackson and Steve Kerr and all those things, benching Addison Barnes, uh, benching Iguodala in place of Harrison Barnes. Yeah. All those Even David Lee, not playing oh, much. As both teams also have some injury issues. Of course, si LeBron throughout the playoffs, may mga times na umuugut ugut na siya. Grab it, this guy, no? Parang, uh, parang yung old age na is kind of catching up to him. Of course, you're not going to have Kevin Love at any point in this series, um, on the other end, Golden State the man. Of course, both their star guards were roughed up a little bit yeah. in the West Finals. Curry hit his head in a fall. Um, Clay Thompson's head was hit by Trevor yeah. Ariza. Actual concussion, but oh. they're letting him play. So, so we'll it's going to be a very interesting finals that will begin very, very shortly. Um, Ronnie and I, in this particular episode, will look at both teams. We're not going to go through and dissect them position by position. Um, we're going to take a look at some questions uh, that we've formulated and try to answer those questions. And by answering, hopefully, we can come up with some believable logical yeah. answers <laughs> and a logical analysis of the NBA Finals for mm-hmm. 2015. So first question, Rolly. Ah, so yeah, let's go. Let's start with the big question. Who's better? Who's going to be better in this NBA Finals series? The King LeBron James, best player on the planet? Or the MVP? Best player of the season, Steph Curry. Tough question. Very, very tough question. Very tough question. Uh, I think I'll have to go with the best overall player, meaning who can play both offense and defense, and that has to be LeBron. So can he Perkins? Well, if he <laughs> plays, Fred. Well, I don't know. Last uh, and LeBron James. LeBron you know, James. You think he's gonna have a better finals than Steph Curry? That's a tough question. If we're looking at better, meaning maybe PR, PR efficiency, probably. But for getting some points, because he's going to attract a lot of attention, maybe even double teams, because he some points. Overall, I really have to stick with LeBron because, again, he can play multiple positions. Uh, the Cavaliers have also tried playing small ball with LeBron maybe at the 5 or at the 4, depending on the rotation, and it's been... Fairly successful because of his versatility. Eh, he can, so so LeBron can play the five against Golden State. Depending, you know? only if Dream on Green. Exactly. Five, so. But, kasi, so that means they can also match up if Golden State. If you're going to play the center, it's Mark Pingris. You can play the center. Dino no, man. Six three. Because he's not going to play the center. Six three. Anyway, six five down with six, shoes. Five with shoes. <laughs> so he's not going to play the center. He's six five. Nala. I don't know. J.R. Smith. Anyway. So, so LeBron James, you think, will probably have better, a little bit of a better series. I think he has a bigger impact. Wow. Without okay. him, without him, let's be honest, without him, Cavs out. Oh, yeah, go, without him, Cavs. Definitely okay. not. Might not even have made the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, not. So definitely not. Definitely not. the biggest factor here. And, and we know Kyrie is also somewhat hurt, so that puts, not 100%, that puts more... Uh, Pressure, pressure on, LeBron. on us on LeBron to actually deliver more. 
Right. All right. right. I, I kind of agree with you that LeBron will probably have the more impact or the bigger impact in this series because he has to. He has to play really well for Cleveland to even be relevant in this series. Yeah, absolutely. So Steph Curry, on the other hand, he's the MVP. He can attack Cleveland in so many ways. Even if you put LeBron in this guy, oh, yeah. unlike Derrick Rose, who has to attack the basket, Steph Curry can you know can go around LeBron. Even if LeBron is a big, big guy. He can step back another three over LeBron James. It's going to be very difficult for LeBron. But again, LeBron will have a bigger impact, but not necessarily win the series. Yeah, for Cleveland. All right, next question. Who will have the better supporting cast? Mm-hmm. Is it Cleveland with J.R. Smith, Kyrie, uh, Iman Shumpert, Mr. Mm-hmm. Thompson, make team of famous golf cup, and Chassi Deli, Matthew Deli, and who, act, who, if you ask a uh, Horford, has a bad reputation? <laughs> Or is it going to be Iggy, Harrison Barnes, Clay Thompson, Andrew Bogut, and Sean Livingston, and Leandro Barbosa, and Pestus Ezeli? Is it going to be the Warriors with the better supporting cast here? What do you think? I think, I thought, this one depends on Delhi. Wow! Delhi! Of all the names I mentioned, <laughs> you pick the least athletic, maybe least talented among all those. Listen Names. to what? Listen why? Wow. Listen why? Is it because he has a bad reputation? <laughs> well, they're trying to hide his bad reputation through his hustle, tough defense. But I think he's pretty reckless. He's very reckless. And it's to the point <laughs> where he might probably injure someone on the... Wait, so he's the, he, he might be a big factor here. Yes. Because he will injure someone. Yes. <laughs> the not a, it, what the hell? I'm, I'm worried. I'm worried. I want a good... I, I don't like injuries. I hate injuries. We've been... Uh, we suffered a lot of injuries throughout the regular season in okay, the playoffs. Okay. So I want a clean, no injury final. I'm not sure we're going to get a no injury final. So, imagine this. Right? What if Delhi dives for a ball, boxes out, grabs a rebound, this guy, his elbows fly around, his knees, whatever. Oh man. So in that one to no one. In all seriousness, in all seriousness, okay? In all seriousness, I think the better supporting cast has to go to the to the Warriors, okay? Uh they had Marie Spikes, who got injured. They have a better supporting cast, so Dele Vadova will negate that by injuring someone. You know, you know, you're feeling good. But I'm not. That's the impact of Dele because that's the way she's going to go. Let's go, Dele! That's the way she's going to go. put the Cavs into a position of uh, power or wow, advantage. But assume that it's not like that. If it's like that, Ano talaga? It's Golden State. State. Has a Golden State has a better supporting cast. They played. Uh, they showed it throughout the season, and actually, the Cavs had one of the worst uh, bench or supporting cast until recently. Until the maybe later on in the Bulls versus the Bulls, and we actually saw them versus the Hawks, where James Jones making shots, uh, Shumpert, Jeff Smith. But before that, they were pretty much sputtering. So the advantage should go to the Warriors, who's been very consistent. And they definitely know their rules. Who will be the best offensive player in this series? Hmm. Team. Best offensive player? I have to go with the uh, MVP. Steph? Yeah, this guy. Steph, Steph Curry! He, what, he broke Reggie Miller's record for most threes. And he's going to pad to his total. Playoff I mean, series teams. in a lot. In maybe what? Eight to ten games less. This guy might even have the finals record. And everything so designed and made three. So definitely, Steph Curry, I think, will be the best offensive player if we're looking at points plus assists. I agree. I think he's going to put Kyrie and Delhi and mm-hmm. Shumpert and Smith on skates yeah. at some point in the series. Uh, even if LeBron guards him, this is a guy who just has extremely out of this world handles and speed and quickness, and he has that wicked step back. It's going to be very difficult to guard. I don't think. LeBron has guarded anyone like Curry before. Yeah, this quick, this crafty, and this kind of a shooter. It's just a best shooter. It's very, very difficult to imagine someone being a better offensive player than Curry in this series. Next, on the other side of the coin, Mm -hmm. who will be the better defensive player in this series? 
I think I'll go with Draymond Green. Okay, this guy wow. is very who, who for some people should have been DPOY. Yeah. This guy can definitely we know he can defend LeBron. Uh, he's not yet known as a LeBron stopper like maybe a Kawhi Leonard or a Jimmy Butler, but nobody can really stop LeBron anyway. He can definitely slow him down. And other than that, he can guard a few more positions. Uh, he became able to guard maybe Tristan Thompson, Shumper, Jer Smith. And if it comes to uh, playing tough physical defense, this guy can give Delhi a run for his money. If needed. If needed. But tapat pag looks at I am putting my money on Draymond Green and Matthew Delavidova having a fight. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a very good. No, no. At one point in uh, the series, yeah. those two are gonna buck heads, yeah. and it's gonna be awesome, yeah. YouTube worthy. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. absolutely. All right, next keys to winning. Mm. What are the keys to winning for Cleveland? For for me, um, David Black. <laughs> His coaching is gonna be extremely crucial mm-hmm. for for Cleveland. I think it's gonna be the biggest factor. Not even LeBron James. It's going to be Black's decision making on the sidelines, which will be the biggest factor in determining whether Cleveland will win the series, will even be, be relevant in the series. Now, he's not known as someone who makes very good adjustments um, in game. Yeah. Um, but so far, no, I mean, you can't argue this record. He, they've won 12 games and lost only two in the playoffs so far. So generally, he's been making okay decisions. But against Steve Kerr, against a team like Golden State, they, you know, throughout the playoffs in the East, They've never encountered a team as good as Golden State, or nearly as good as Golden State. So it'll be very, very difficult. It's going to be a big challenge for David Blatt. The spotlight's going to be on him. What kind of game plan does he have? And what kind of adjustments will he make in case that game plan does not work? It's going to be a very, very, very uh, crucial that Blatt makes sound coaching decisions in this series. It's actually an excellent point because I remember... Uh what if it was actually LeBron calling the shots? I recall, or Tyrone Lou! I recall, I think this was against the Bulls, when LeBron made that winning basket. The original play was for LeBron to inbound. Yes. And of course, he vetoed. He vetoed LeBron. LeBron. I'm LeBron, I ain't no inbounder. I'm inbounder. So I'm maybe, inbounder. maybe part of Vlad's decision is, oh, okay, LeBron, here's the ball. Game winner, make LeBron. Make decisions. Dream. In any case, mine is... We all know that the Warriors are a lot better perimeter shooting. Uh, they're number one offensively, so no problem among scores. On the other hand, Cleveland, they chuck a lot of threes, but percentage-wise, it's not very good. So there will be a lot of rebounds up for grabs. And my key, Ooh. TT, Canada. TT from Canada. Tristan, Tristan Thompson. Thompson! Okay, this guy needs to attack the glass consistently. At least seven offensive rebounds. Man, that means he's going five points, right? But he's, he's been a revelation during the playoffs. And watch it, this guy, this guy will get paid sooner or later. So watch him crash the boards, take up space versus Bogo, Draymond Green, Zeely. Get those offensive rebounds and then you know, open a... Uh, since the defense is adjusting, you'll get open shots for your shooters, you know, Smith, Shumpart. All right, now let's go on to the West Coast for the Dubs, who are the top seed in the entire playoffs, the top team in the entire season. Um, everyone expected them, they were favoring them to win this series. What are the keys to winning this game? You first. Okay, second. Okay, the advantage, I think, overall for the Dubs, superior backward play. Okay, wow. you have the two. You have the Splash Brothers. Uh, they're both somewhat, you know, they have problems in, in Jersey Steph Curry with the fall. Uh, Clay Thompson, the 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 so dogs. they need to establish early that these two, one and their two players, are fine, they're okay. So they should run what? Screen and roll with them, pick and pop, curls, elbow, anything. But as early as possible, Thompson has to be part of the offense because he somewhat faltered versus uh, James Harden. That series, he didn't have any good shooting. He played Thompson during the series. Yeah. Very inconsistent. So he could go five out of seven in one game and over six the next. Yeah, they cannot afford a bad shooting game 
from one of them. Pag dalawa sila, sure, talo na yan. Pag isa, baka makalusot, but at the same time, again, here's Clay Thompson, an all-star, third-team All-NBA. He needs to play a lot better. Should not have been 30. Jimmy Butler, should have been <laughs> Okay, my key to winning for Golden State is, though I understand it's a backcourt-driven team, the key for me would be the front court. It's mm. going to be Andrew Bogut. Mm-hmm. How Bogut plays Mosgo, how Bogut plays Thompson. Because I think, you know, I think uh, Cleveland will probably go with small ball at some point here. Yeah. It's going to be a very, very critical thing for, for, for the Warriors. So. Bogut has to be solid. He has to be healthy. And he has to play really well to, you know, to be able to neutralize the size of Cleveland in this, in this particular series now. Um, Kyrie, LeBron, Jared Smith, Iman Shumpert, they're going to attack the basket um, whenever they can. Yeah. Bogut has to be there to challenge, to alter shots. He has to box out Mozgov, play smart when LeBron and Mozgov go for those pick and rolls. He has to be smart when Tristan Thompson is trying to box out for the offensive rebound. Bogut has to control the middle. I mean, Curry and Thompson will be there in the perimeter. Bogut has to anchor the middle. If he does that, Warriors... They're going to win this. Probably win. Which yeah. goes to our prediction. Mm-hmm. My prediction. Yes, again. 2015 NBA Finals. The winner will be, for the first time in 40 years, Da-da-da-da. the Golden State Warriors mm-hmm. in not one, two, three, four, five, six, but seven games. Winning at home in the Oracle Arena. Wow. Frustrating LeBron James and pushing the Cavs to another preseason of doubt. <laughs> It was cementing uh, Curry's legacy in the NBA. It will be dubs in seven. Okay. Okay, Mr. Mendoza. I have to say that that's a very safe, what? conventional, somewhat expected for the dubs to win. Okay, I mean, Puede couldn't believe it actually. Now, I will slightly disagree because. Slightly. Slightly. Yes. So. Warriors in six minutes. <laughs> I slightly disagree because I don't know. I know I'm in the minority. Okay? So Warriors sweep. Quite <laughs> actually, could be my angel. Wow. I don't get I have a, I don't know. Maybe this is also part bias because I followed LeBron. I loved him when he was in Miami. Miami Fanball. So there's a little bit of let's Miami call it attachment. Fanball. There's a little bit of attachment to LeBron. <laughs> But as the days go by, I've suddenly convinced myself to root for them. And I'm taking cabs in All seven. All in, baby. In seven. All in, baby. On the road. Mahirap talaga. I mean, wow. Wait, wait, wait. Cleveland in seven. So you mean to tell me Cleveland will win the NBA title at Oracle. in the Oracle Arena. Okay. Frustrating. Mahirap. Humbling the Warriors in front of their own home crowd. Really? I'll tell you this. Wow. A few things going. Wow. A few things going for the Cavs. Playoff experience. Finals experience. Except for the coach. Except for the coach. <laughs> yeah. But again, I think if LeBron's doing the coaching, they're probably gonna be okay. Probably. Okay. 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 So yeah. Final season number two. It's just very difficult for me not to back. The best player, still the best, best player. Best player on the best team. Parang. On the best team or even in best the league. the planet, period. Siya pa rin eh. Siya pa rin. Maybe another year or two bago mawala sa kanya yun. So, just thinking about that, just the way that how Cleveland has been back, uh, has been, uh, was it, how should it? Shattering their odds. Parang dapat natalo wow. sa gusto. Uh, wow. Dapat mas nahirapan sila sa Hawks. Wow. Pero hindi, di ba? Wow. Is your think para meant to be ba to para sa Cleveland? You think in LeBron's first year back, you think he's gonna win it already? I don't think God really hates him. Wow. Wow. I don't think, huh? I don't think. <laughs> Imagine mo lang, ha? Tinalo nila yung Hawks ng walang Kyrie. Tambak pa. Walang Kyle Corver. Eh. Oh, so, bagay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yun, I mean... So, I know. Partido, wala rin Kevin lang. I know. There you go. I mean, it's very... Again, alam ko, minority, chances of this... I'm not willing to put money on it, but I'm hoping, and I think they can. But I wouldn't be surprised, of course, if the Warriors actually win it because they're really a good team. Okay, mm. Warriors in seven, Cavs in seven in Oracle Arena. Turn on the hat. I'm sure you're thinking, LeBron, that if Matalo na naman siya, 
sa final assist Sabi, will put his record yeah. at two wins and what four losses? Four losses. Ano ba yun? Ano ba yung best player yung ganun kadami tayo? So we'll tayo? see. Diba? Everyone's not gonna be the best player ever. So ano ka ba? Hindi, I mean, in, in his happen. era. Masaka! In his era. Ano ka ba? Who's the best player of his era? Chris Bush. Ano <laughs> oh, he's practicing again. <laughs> oh, applause for Chris Bosh. Right. What do you think? Cleveland ka ba? Warriors ka ba? Warriors in seven, Cleveland in seven, Cleveland sweep, Warriors in six. Ano bang prediction mo? Just give us a, give us a holler, tell us, tweet us. It's all there at the bottom. Um, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, like us on Facebook as well. Thank you very much. Let's all watch the NBA Finals. It's gonna be a rock and sock and affair. Woohoo! Must start at least seven both. Panalo na tayo parehas. Yeah, baby! Until next time. Later. Hoop Nuts out.